Let us bring our intentions for in this altar that God may hear our prayers and makes us new, new. Today we want to celebrate this Mass for the repose of the soul of Erasmo Ruiz. And with Erasmo, we also want to pray for this session. I invited Victor to start his jacket training and then I will pull Wayne because they're a year from ordination and they need to learn. I believe that deacons, once they are fully graduated, they have to jump in and work. We cannot wait for them another year to learn how to do things. So you will see our pre-deacons working and serving in the altar. So I want you to encourage them. Any feedback that you can give them to improve their practice will be very much appreciated, okay? So let us pray that today's readings may encourage you and strengthen you in this journey to deepen ourselves with the mystery of our Lord's death. Grant me, pray, Almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived to the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant, servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench. Until he establishes justice on the earth, the coastlands will wait for his teaching. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spreads out the earth with its crops, who gives breath to its people and spirit to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by, by the hand. I formed you. <coughs> Excuse me. 
I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement, and from the dungeons, those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord Lord is my my light and and my my salvation. salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord Lord. is my light and my salvation. When evildoers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves stumble and fall. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. The Lord is my light light and my my salvation. salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our faults. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. They give a dinner for him there, and Martha served, while Lazarus was one of those who reclining at table with him. Mary took a liter of costly perfume oil made from genuine aromatic nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and dry them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Then Judas Iscariot, one of the disciples, and the one who betrayed him, said, Why was this oil not sold for 300 days' wages and give it to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money bag and used to steal the contributions. So Jesus said, leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you but you not always have me. The large crowd of the Jews found out that he was there in came, not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. And the chief priests plotted to kill Lazarus too, because many of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, today is the second day of Holy Week, and this is the last week of Lent. 
How is it going with, for you? Do you feel strong that you have run the race and been able to overcome your temptations and fulfill all your Lenten promises? If you have, well done, good and faithful servant. If we haven't, we are in good company. Neither did the apostles. And they were with Jesus for three years. And here they were. They couldn't even stay awake for one or two hours. Even when Jesus asked them to stay awake with me in the Garden of Gethsemane. We're not talking about 40 days in the desert. It was just a few hours, and they fell asleep. Jesus didn't disown them. He kept asking them to stay awake with me. And I feel that that's what he's asking us now, to stay awake this week. It doesn't matter how far you have come. Or if we haven't started yet. Or if we feel that it's too late. No, it's not too late. Stay awake. This is the last week of Lent. It's Holy Week. Open the bulletin. Take one home. Read it. Go into the web page. And see all activities and events that are going on this week. And be part of it. So we can have that conversion and experience that the apostles did later on. There was Peter who denied Jesus three times. After witnessing miracles walking on water, and doing all these things with Jesus. So if we stumble, it's not over. It's not over. God is still waiting for us with open arms. So come on, let's walk this last week together. And stay awake with Jesus. In the gospel that we just heard, here is the apostle, hand chosen, witnessing everything, getting ready to betray and criticize Jesus, criticizing God for allowing someone to bless him. These are examples for us to see that no matter how far we falling, there's always time for redemption. There's always time to come back. Turn back to God because He created us in love and wants us to return to love through, this, through his Paschal mystery this week, this holy week, and to join again to the love of the Father. Not to be abandoned, not to be left behind. So, come this week, to stay awake and walk with Jesus.
embracing and welcoming the reflection that our brother Victor has given us. Let us stand and pray together for the needs of our world, our church, and our people. For the leaders of the church, may God's light God guide them in serving in truth and with justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our national and local leaders, may the love of Christ empower them in providing for those most in need in their communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the suffering, may the comforting embrace of Jesus and the peace of his healing hand be upon them in their needs. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may we be blessed with the grace we need to be faithful disciples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those who have died, may they be welcomed into the heavenly kingdom by the communion of saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the special intentions for the repose of the soul of Erasmo Ruiz. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those petitions in the silence of our heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we entrust our prayers to you in the holy name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated that we may prepare our guests. Save your people, O oh Lord. Show us the way to come home. We have been wandering far from your love. Save your people, O oh Lord. One thing I ask, O oh Lord, this I seek. To dwell forever in your house, that I may gaze on your loveliness all the days of my life. Save your people, O oh Lord. Show us the way to come home. We have been wandering far from your love. Save your people, O oh Lord. For you will hide me in the shelter of your wings. And from the arrows of my foes, you set me high on a mountain top. Save me from my distress. Save your people, O oh Lord. Show us the way to come home. We have been wandering far from your love. Save your people, O oh Lord. We have been wandering far from your love. Save your people, O oh Lord.
Pray me, brothers and sisters, their sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here. And may, while you had mercifully provided to counsel the judgment we have incurred, bear for us the fruit of eternal life in our hearts through Jesus Christ, our Lord. May the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to the right and just, a duty and salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. For though innocent, he suffered willingly for sinners and accepted unjust condemnation to save the guilty. His death has washed away our sins and his resurrection has purchased our justification. And so with the angels, we praise in joyful celebration as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, heaven and earth, are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Therefore, Almighty Father, we bless you through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, and the way by your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we may love one another through your Son, who for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you to sanctify this gift by the power of your Holy Spirit, and may it be kind for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son. On the night when he was going to set us free, as he sat with his disciples, he took bread, gave you thanks and praise, and broke it and gave it to them and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body that will be given up for you. When the supper had ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He took the cup and gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is a challenge of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Brothers and sisters, the mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You have set us free. 
set us free. Celebrating the memorial of your son's death and resurrection, let us his pledge of love. We offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously endowed us with your very Spirit, who takes away everything that strengthens us for one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. May you keep us always in communion with Francis our Pope, Robert our Bishop, Ramon, and John, and all the priests, deacons, and your entire holy people here who serve you with an open heart. And just as you have gathered us now in the table of your Son, bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, with the brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in the new heaven and the new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. stand, brothers and sisters, with the joy of the Holy Spirit, the children of God. Let us join together as we call upon our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in your hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I give you peace, my peace I gave to you. Be not mindful of our sins, but of the peace and good heart of your people gathered here. And according to your word, grant us peace that we may live with you forever. May the peace of the Lord be with you. Let's have each other some fraternal peace. On you stay, quit all his peccata mundi. Miserere nobis, agnus Dei, quit all his peccata mundi, miserere nobis, agnus Dei, quit all his peccata mundi, Dona nobis pace. Behold, the Lamb of God, our Messiah, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we for being called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ take us to our lasting life. Amen.
please join me in doing the spiritual prayer, communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here, and unite myself wholly to you. Never allow me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Visit your people, o Lord, we pray, and with ever watchful love, look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection, we may keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation, which by your mercy, we have received. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Well, brothers and sisters, this would be a wonderful week, so look forward to see you on Holy Thursday in our outdoor sanctuary, the whole church together. We have enough space for everybody. If you want to come and bring your own chair, that would be wonderful also because we don't know how many people will come. It was just amazing this Sunday at 9 a.m., 11 a.m. and 1 p.m., it was packed. If you see the videos on YouTube from that recording match, you'll see that good energy and the presence of God within our people. I'm sure that Wayne and Victor can share with you the experience of going and sprinkling holy water in God's holy people. It's just amazing, very inspiring. Let's continue praying that God may continue to bring us together as we toward the end of this pandemia and this worldly crisis. Let's pray for one another. And let's keep watch and pray that we may be strengthened by Christ alone throughout this week, okay? I will keep in my heart and I'll be praying for you. I'll be presiding all the Holy Week services from the Tridium. So look forward to celebrate my faith with you and our faith together, all right? May the Lord be with you. And may, Lord, and may the Lord bless you and keep you always, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I want to thank you. I know you were paralyzed, and this is his first ascetic panic, but he's doing a good job. Let's give him a big applause to Victor. He's doing a good job. And later we're going to push Wayne, too, to come and work here. We'll take him one step at a time. Thank you so much for ministering and servicing. Have a wonderful day and a precious, blessed week. The glory of these fourteen days we celebrate with songs of praise for Christ by whom all things were made himself has fasted and has prayed. Alone and fasting, Moses saw the loving God who gave the law. And to Elijah fasting came the steeds and chariots of flame. So Daniel trained his mystic sight, delivered from the lion's might, and John the bridegroom's friend became the herald of Messiah's name.